Hello, I'm Tanya. And I'm David. And we are out side by side. Our last video was at Village Creek State Park. You can see this video. We'll put the link below if you want to see the entire park. On this video, we wanted to show you the premium and the not so premium camping spots on the camping loop for your travel trailer or possibly your tent if you're going to use a tent. The hilltop camping area is the only camping loop in the park. It has 25 campsites with electricity and water. Some sites are ADA accessible. Most sites can accommodate one travel trailer and one 10 by 10 tent. This is site number one. It's a very good spot, very secluded. The only thing is you're right next to the park host. I don't know if you can see that, but the park host is right through the trees. This is spot number two. It's a good one. So we're in site number three. As you can see, it has water and electric. We do have a picnic table, a lantern hook, uh, some uh, bench seating. There is a tent pad back here, fire pit. And uh, it's very wooded, very shaded. This is uh, where we're setting up our outdoor kitchen. And it's uh, this is a fairly private site. Uh, there are people on the right and the left, but it's really not that at all, especially because they're not here right now, so. This particular spot, it has a fairly small pad. There's not a whole lot of patio space. We can only get our awning out about halfway, but you do get quite a bit of room back here for seating and uh, cooking around the fire. Spot number four is really good because you don't have anybody next to you. Uh, it does have a really nice high level tent pad and you've got a little bit of uh, privacy. Your table though is right where you park your RV. This is spot number five and seven. Good for family camping or couples camping. Lots of privacy in the back. Number nine. Number 11. 13 and 15 are also conjoined. So if you have family camping or friends, that's another good one. 17 is nice. It's pretty good. Private. 19 with a squirrel. Starting at 21, they're like a stair step. Not too crazy about these at all. Most of these sites have the patio or the camping area in the rear. Yes, 24. Twenty-five. These would not be considered our favorite with the stair steps, even though the camping area is in the back. It's still not you can kind of see what you're looking at. Not much privacy. This is the one dump station that is at the park, and it's right after the one camping loop. This is the cleanest dump station we've ever seen. Wow, look at that. Amazing. This is 22, which is nice, but you're by the main road and you're right by the dump station. So not something we'd recommend. And then you also have on the other side more of the, what we call the stair step. This is 20. Eight. 
18. Yeah, 18 is wide. So if you have a big trailer, it's pretty wide. 16. Yeah, they are. They are close. These are close. I mean, look at this. Look at 12. Look how close 10 and 12 are. No privacy. Mm -hmm. That's why I got it. Eight's pretty nice. Trees in between. Six. Number six is right on the edge of a creek and there's no picnic area. So keep that in mind too. No spot for a tent either. No. Uh uh. And then you saw these in the these were in the beginning of the video, which is the end of the loop. Number four. It's pretty nice. And then number two, which is kind of busy because you're on the main, by the nature center on the main highway. And that's it. Our favorite spots for Village Creek State Park are number one, our spot number three, and also number four. Yes, these are the best of the best at Village Creek State Park. Let us know if you have any further questions about Village Creek State Park. Our goal is to help you find the best camping spot for your travel trailer. We really appreciate y'all watching our videos and supporting our channel. Please like, subscribe, and share, and thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.